What's going on YouTube? This is Mason AJ of Comic Book Fish Dogs. Today I'm bringing you comic book news! So, first on the list, Sony is reportedly saying that they, they're interested working toward, you know, putting in the groundwork for a female or at least either an all-female or a female-led superhero movie to come out in 2017. And looking for more like a Spider-Man, like, spin-off. So it's kind of like one of his characters or something like that. Now, they don't have exactly like a list of characters. They don't have a main character or a list of characters yet. But a screenwriter has already been like, pulled from the ranks and she's already working on something and there's talks that it could be Black Cat, Silver Sable, Firestorm, we don't know and it's really kind of coming at a great time. Spider-Man 2 was great, I loved it, you know, but in Spider-Man 3 has been delayed so this is kind of like a movie to kind of like slip in and I know a lot of fans out there like hey, 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 we want more females like to take the lead, Don't I want more females to take the lead, I'm a huge fan of female characters but not in the way you think, like I actually like seeing female characters develop and having them. One of my favorite Marvel characters is Cloud9. Now, if you don't even know who that is, check her out and I'll get back to you about that another time. Next on the list is Tom Taylor's Superior Iron Man. Now, I've brought this, this up in the previous news, but now we have more details. Tom Taylor has gone on record to like tell you about this book, and I'm personally very interested in it. The first thing he go ahead and said is, hey, Superior Iron Man is not Superior Spider-Man. And what he means by that is this is not Tony Stark or like one of Tony Stark's villains and Tony Stark's body, it is Tony Stark. This is like the man, but where Tony Stark has always been known to be like a very like pompous and arrogant character and over the years he's had to learn humility, um, humility, 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 well he's had to learn how to be humble and he's kind of like narrowed himself down after the events of the Avengers vs. X-Men then now he's kind of like gotten back to being an arrogant prick if you want to call him a prick, you know, because I'm all down for like getting money and getting girls and you know having superpowers too. So he now he's moved to San Francisco, a whole new location, and he's given the extremist virus. Which if you know, if you've seen the Iron Man three movie, you see how serious that is. But it's nothing as serious as it compared to what it does in the comic books. He's actually giving it to the whole city of San Francisco and said, Hey, yeah, you know what? Here's some superpowers. Here's some awful, awesome abilities. Create a utopia. Do your thing, Iron Man. I don't understand how the story is going to work, but I love Tom Taylor. Tom Taylor is the writer of the Injustice comic book, if you didn't already know, and that's actually one of the best comic books I've read in like my entire life. In fact, I'm pretty sure the official voted that the best comic book of 2013, and that's saying, that's saying a lot comes from a comic book, you know, based on the video game, which was, had a comic book, you know, it, one or the other, it's a video game which had a comic book spinoff, which did all this type of stuff, whatever, it's good shit. Last but not least on today's comic book news, IDW has announced that they, they're just, you know what, I kind of feel like they're just getting anything they can at this point. They're just like sucking up all licenses. They are taking charge of Tim Burton's much beloved, almost most, arguably so, probably his most famous movie, which is Edward Scissorhands. They're making a Edward Scissorhands sequel. It takes place after the movie, but not directly after the movie. Like, the movie ended and it's like 15, 20 years after that. But it's still about Edward Scissorhands and how he's pretty much been living in isolation since the movie. Now, I'm a huge Tim Burton fan. You know, Night Before Christmas is still like, like on my wall. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. Still got the poster, the t-shirt, and everything. And to see that storyline continued in kind of a form I'm really excited about. Now, what they're saying is, now here's the thing I don't quite understand. It's not, it's not the girl from the movie. It's like her granddaughter that she was talking to at the end of the movie, but the girl from the movie is not in it at all. And, and now there's a creature of sorts, you know, pretty much, I'm coming to get you, Edward Sister Hands. I'm gonna get your hands. I'm gonna have Sister Hands too. Solomon Grundy want pants too. Chased out of isolation back into society. Now, what this means for, um, what this ultimately means for the character and what this means for fans of the Edward Sister Hands, um, pretty much franchise, we're not quite sure about yet. And I say that because I don't know where they're gonna go with this. So far, the series only has, I planned four issues, and based on popularity and sales, buy this book, support the craft, there might be more issues. So, comment down below, let me know what you think about anything I've talked about this week, whether it's other with sister hands, me, superior Iron Man, me, also, you know, ICW, me, you know, let's talk about me, you guys should talk about me. Follow us in more and more likely me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr, and also check us out on Facebook. Um, 
If you want to read the stories for yourself, they're in the comments down below. But I really want to know what you guys have to think. Also, be sure to go to your local comic book craft, I mean, local comic book shop, and you'll support the craft. Buy these books, okay? If you don't buy the books, the books don't get made, and therefore we have nothing to talk about. We're, we're gonna be, it's gonna be me looking at you, looking at me, looking at you, talking about like sewing and upholstery and stuff. I don't know. But either way, this is Mason AJ of the Official Now. Peace.